So today was the day that I had court. And how this works is there's an actual judge, there's lawyers that bring forth, you know, all the evidence and all that kind of stuff. And what I'm on trial for is nine attempted murders of police officers, two class two weapons, and reckless evading or driving or something like that. This case worked out how I didn't think it would work out. And if you missed it, that's why I'm putting it here. Jesus, I hope oh, not. Judge first reciting is a case yeah, of the state of San Andreas versus Nick Ender. For the prosecution team, we have Montgomery Lee Walters, by Taylor, Anita May is gonna participate or no? Um, and for the defense, I think we're just here for, um, for moral support. And then for the defense, we have Mr. Ace Danger, representing Mr. Nick Ender. Your Honor, I, I just got a comment before we start this case. Is, is Mr. Nick Ender too uh, too scared to represent himself on this case? Um, he has a right to an attorney, no but problem. let's ask him uh, anyway. I'd like Mr. to announce, uh, yes, I am. All okay, right, he Your is. Honor, for the record, I just want to <laughs> let you know that Mr. Nick Ender has his tail between his legs because he knows he's guilty. Uh, I have no objection uh, to that, sir. I think it's a tuxedo. It's not his Other thing. than the guilty part. What are the charges against Mr. Nick Ender? Uh, Is that what you want me to not counts do? of attempted murder of a government official, criminal possession of a class two firearm times two, and a reckless Reach. evasion. You have heard the charges brought against you by the state. How do you plead to the charges brought? Not guilty or guilty? I plead not, not guilty. Not guilty. Oh, there you go. In curse. All right. Perfect. Oh, Noted. Yeah. A not guilty plea has been entered. Mr. Montgomery, is there an opening statement from you or one of your gang? Yeah, yeah. Our gang will represent. We'll be uh, we'll be having an open statement, Your Honor. And ladies and gentlemen of the gallery, standing before you in this top hat is a man named Nick Ender. Okay, Nick's gonna try to portray to the world that he is a hard-working civilian. That he were, he's a changed man. He made some mistakes in the past. But, Your Honor, today, with our case, we're going to prove the fact that not only is he the smallest tall man in the, uh, in the in the courthouse, but more importantly, he's a leader of a cult, a gang, and likes to kill officers. Officers that were sworn to protect the very same civilians that are sitting in this courtroom. The officers that put their lives on the line day in, day out. With, with sleep, without sleep. And guess what, Your Honor? Their lives ain't easy. They have to deal with me. And I shit on these officers all day, every day. And it's no it's not fair for Nick Ender to come out here with two class twos and start shooting at officers. <laughs> Your Honor, like in this one case, in <laughs> we're going to prove that beyond a reasonable doubt, Mr. Nick Bender, Mr. Nick Top Hat Bender, is guilty of these heinous crimes and must be subjected to the highest form of consequences that this law will offer. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I'm going to motion to hold my opening statement until after they present their case. Don't think well, that is face. your right. Okay. I don't know. I haven't seen that before from attorney, but that is his right. All right. Let's, uh, let's start with the witness. All right, Your Honor. The first witness is going to be me, myself, and I. Chief Montgomery Lee Walton, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, Kirsty? Yes, most of the time. Okay, thank you. You're Ow, good to go. You better tell the truth. Yeah, I will. I will. Don't worry. 98%. Thank you. Thank you for, for, for being here on this glorious day today, dear Chief. Can you please yeah, um, state... Oh, yeah, sorry. No, please go ahead. No, no. No, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, just like um, to note for the courts that he's... Um, He's currently standing because he's got hemorrhoids and the court didn't make any accountabilities or, or you know, adjustments for oh, him yeah, with the big yeah. donut cushion. So he's just going to stay standing. Yeah, you yeah. like the senator did. So can you just uh, please state your name and your, your rank within the police department just for the record and for the court yeah, to see? for the record, my name is Montgomery Lee Walter, chief of the Los Santos Police Department. Oh Thank my you very god. Much. And can you please explain the events? Yo, this is when I passed the, the tree and I was like of February <laughs> in relation to I was blasted right here, bro. Today. I shot this car up. I open up like this. Okay. I was a it was a normal day in the life of Los Santos. Catching gangbangers, putting them away, when suddenly when I got a call <laughs> my dispatch. Upon that pursuit occurring, multiple officers started going down. That is called the 13 Alpha. 
we ended up going to those thirteen alphas, and we were we were identified that one of the sus one of the one of the victims who was not down but was heavily injured notified us and allowed and told us that there was a small black Mini Cooper esque vehicle. Objection! Was, uh, Motion to strike hearsay. Uh, what he's testifying to uh, the things that the man told him. He didn't say them. He was told them. So why isn't that man here to testify to what he was going to tell the? This man, but he's, he's not here. He's, he's, no, I don't. He's I don't care. Yeah, hold on. I'm sorry. We, I, I don't really care what he's testifying. Someone told him you've had that stress. Yeah, in you think the dude in the bush survived? Survive. Somebody told him <laughs> that. Here, sir. With the other person here, you could ask them that. I'm gonna take this uh, objection, Mr. Danger, and what he said about another person telling him. I'm not gonna hold that. In, uh, I'm gonna not gonna take that into consideration, but I'm gonna let it. I want to hear it so I can understand why he did what he did next. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That makes sense. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Montgomery. Go ahead with the car. There was a <laughs> black car that was leaving the scene, which all officers were trying to hunt down. Um, the license plate that we we're looking for was listed in our dispatch system. One of our officers got a hit on that license plate, and we saw that it was it was driving in the canals. We then invoked a pursuit. What the oh. heck? What the f pigs are flying? I mean, he might have broken another hemorrhoid, sir. Yeah, those damn hemorrhoids. That's that. I think he uh, his one of his hemorrhoids exploded and he flew. Oh, are you okay, Mr. Walters. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Proceed. Anyways, let's let's get into it. Um, so yeah, there was a black car that was uh that was driving away. Um, with regards to that, it was found in the canals. We chased it. We went on a pursuit. Um, it, it it got really really reckless. This car was driving all over the place. Um, it was ramming into officers' cars as I witnessed it. Uh, oh! We apprehended the suspect uh, by their car basically being in, like un unusable because we're using force at this point. Force? Uh, yeah. Ramming. I asked the suspect to get out of the car with their hands up. Uh, Mr. Ender, who's sitting right there, Your Honor. Put his hands up, left the car, and we gather and we 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 place him under arrest. Okay, the court notes that the uh, the witness has um, identified the Mr. Ender as the person in the car. Our team did a our team did a GSR test on him. Uh, our team we we searched him, and he had two uh, class two firearms. The first one was a Glock 18C. That is a uh, pistol that has an automatic switch on it, which is highly illegal, Your Honor. And the second uh, gun was an AK-47. Uh, upon yeah, and I held him like this, bro. GSR I had AK in one hand. I was like this. He tested I had the, positive for GSR I, for having the, gunshot residue on I had him. the Glock like this. Um, <laughs> and the guns did have his prints on them, meaning that they were used by him. In addition to that, uh, we found casings that were relevant to the same guns that he had on his person. Okay. Uh, upon further investigation with m when I interviewed my team, I was indicated by my team as I was conducting the interview that this this whole setup <laughs> looked like an ambush. Mr. Ender wasn't working alone. There were multiple people that were there. However, multi multiple of them got away. And the reason why they got away was because Mr. Ender was a massive distraction to pull all the officers on him and not on the other folks. How no. Yeah, what the Hey, what the fuck? That's that's not true. Just wait. Just wait. Please note that. Uh, sorry. That's that's all I got. Go ahead. Where where did Claude? Oh, hey. I'm, I'm I'm just I'm just right here. Just um, thank you very much. I'm just going to be um just putting up uh, a series of evidence and things which have been it's in the evidence <sighs> in relation to the vehicles and the weapons and the. the he thinks the there was multiple the shooters, stuff. guys. Just give me one moment. Let's pull those up, please. Okay. There's no way there was one shooter from the grass. I'm assuming you know, guys. whoever collected the evidence is here to testify to his chain of custody. Well, it depends. Uh, we don't know what he's putting up yet, Mr. Danger. Yeah, me either. You wanna? I don't know much about this case, you know, but police haven't really told me much. Let's keep the comments on to yourself, okay? So this is the fingerprint which was referenced on the night in question with a um with with a with a sample that has come back from the lab, which is all. Been digitally signed off there in relation to the Glock 18C. So, what? How do I know this was on the Glock, and how do I know what it relates to, and whose fingerprint is that? I mean, it's his collected Glock 18C. And, right here. It's in the it's in the evidence. Who collected it? 
Wait, 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 your, wait your turn, Mr. Danger. And then People are stuck in the queue, which is why witnesses aren't there. Why do you think we uh, filled the uh, server up with fake accounts oh, so that the, the witnesses well, couldn't be Mr. here? Here's the second one in relation to the AK. Hold up. Stop. Stop. Why do you think we did that? He's trying to move forward. That's why I'm saying like I was objecting. So can you work out how you want us to do this? Well, Mr. Mr. Taylor is on his part <laughs> of his interrogation. He's putting up evidence. Are you going to ask anything about these evidence or just going to do a slideshow? Oh, it's just a slideshow in relation to, to cooperating the, the testimony that Mr. Montgomery here put up. So I'll put those in there. Can you go well back? As... Yeah, I got like 10 computers in my other room just sitting there with uh, AFK people in their apartments right now. Your Honor, with regards to the comment about <laughs> chain of custody of um, of evidence, <laughs> our, our police department works a little bit different, and this is across the DPS. As our standard operating procedures are that we have multiple officers. It's one fifty right now, right? Once the, once the evidence is bagged, it is it is it's in a tamper proof bag. It cannot be touched. No, you want to corroborate when Mr. Walters what we're looking at here? Yes, that's the Glock eighteen C, Your Honor, that was found on Mr. Nick Ander. That is the Glock mm -hmm. with the switch on it that is highly illegal as a I wish I would have been able to fingerprint shoot it. That was on there matches his fingerprint. This is a GSR test, Your Honor, that shows that Mr. Nick Ender was positive on GSR. He did fire his gun. Mm -hmm. A gun. I can pull up the next. Can, I fired when a you object or raise statements on these at the end or at each one? You can object that. Anytime you want, Mr. Thank you. Well, well, right. Yeah, so, okay. So the first one, objection. How do I know that's related to Nick Ender or Gun? I'm just, it's just numbers and stuff to me. Can you explain okay, to me, Chief, that, how that it works? Is, I, get, I get what he said. I'm not going to push that. But how do I know who it goes to? I understand. That's, I think that's a very good question for your cross-examination. So, the honest, there's, a, there's a lot to put up. But it's, it's, all, it's all in the docket. There's, there's many casings. There's many, there's many corporations with the bullet casings in relation to the tracking See, IDs on the guns. I would have survived if I jumped like out of the so, car. Um, obviously, oh, I, I'm not going to waste the court's time putting up hundreds of photos. Okay, which have been the to evidence. pictures of the AK, the Glock 18, and the GSR. I well, see there's uh, okay, I'll object to there. those. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Clyde, do you have any more questions? I, look, I, I don't have any more questions, but I, I'd like to hold for, for a brief process after Mr. Danger's question. Redirect. Them. I understand. Mr. Danger, it's your turn. Now Bankroll says, damn, he, he had that Glock okay, with that switch. <laughs> damn, bro. He got that Glock with that switch. I don't know how you follow them. So, Mr. Clyde will give yeah. you a... Uh, okay, Mr. Clyde, I'm going to be going over every piece of evidence that you've trying he to got that Glock. on the screen. Can you put them one at a time? And Monty, can you just explain to me how I follow it? Because I don't understand. Um, fingerprints. Numbers, it's just, it doesn't matter if you have gloves on, unfortunately. You know, uh, you want to... I Don't worry, I'll help you out. Yeah, I agree to say Monty's an expert. I didn't even shoot it, unfortunately. Know, I just need it to be explained. So if Clyde can go one at a time and Monty explains to Clyde, Unfortunately, I'll throw that evidence up there for him, please. And I'll just sit and listen, because I don't know how this yeah, works. I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be getting um the, the state prosecutor here to put up all the um the, the evidence one by one just up on the screen whilst I um whilst I just take notes in relation to the questions. No, we're gonna being see that the ones we, you brought up, he wants to talk about those. So I want to see, see which one you yeah, want. It should matter, yeah. been entered into evidence. Which one do you want well, to see that's, that's the first They've one. all been entered into evidence. Do you want to well, they, have, the they haven't. You have to put them on the screen. No, that just means that you filed them as you're going to use them. You haven't entered them yet into the court. Well, really says, ugly? Yeah, I wish I, I could. See those. Yeah, yeah, I want to see those. Jax. <laughs> you guys are funny, dude. And he has entered testimony. They did not see me shoot, no. Stuff. So he laid foundation for those. Where Ten more. And there is evidence of the casings, Your Honor, that we put up. Yeah, yeah. I'm not objecting so, to so, you so, entering so, them. So, I'm just so, saying so, I get to actually... Say it again, Clyde. So there we go. We're going to get the, the fingerprint, which is on the AK. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Danger. I'm here to help you out. Okay. We have the AK mm -hmm. one up. So... So the... There's a latent fingerprint, a tracking ID, a date and time, and then a fingerprint, and then the collected area and time. So how do I link this what happened to that Mr. Day, guys. Like, how do this I know is a little bit of some of the stuff is. that happened, okay? Mr. Danger. No audio. See where it says fingerprint, there's a code that ends in 3095, okay? That is a, that is a fingerprint Pause. code that is associated to Mr. Nick Ender. Um, that ends in, uh, sorry, one more second, one second. Remember this picture here? 3095. Yeah, I, 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 I 
Okay. Remember this and picture here? Somewhere is there a piece of evidence that shows that that's Nick's uh, <laughs> tracking out thing? Your Honor, can we take a brief recess? Um, the the prosecution would like to speak to the defense on the plea deal. Okay. Uh, we'll take a five minute <laughs> recess. Now, at this point, obviously, I'm yapping and showing the chat what happened that day and all that kind of stuff. And we kind of miss what happens. It's just in total my type of fashion. So what ends up happening here is that Monty realizes that the fingerprint on the guns does not match me at all. And then he calls for a recess to talk about a plea deal with us being the defense. Sorry that I'm such a bad uh, streamer and was doing something over the other thing and you couldn't hear it, kind of. But I explained it, so it's good. So they're offering to drop everything except possession and one attempted murder. But uh, I said I need to talk to you, so let's go and have a chat. Wait, why? Why, 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 why the sudden, why is that happening? Because I'm crucified on the stand, but I don't know if you can win. Nice. What do we do? We take that? Copy it. Uh, Mr. Andrew, right, so it's going to be good, not good. Was uh, for Mr. Andrew? We need to hear. Yeah, Mr. Andrew, here's my offer to you. Okay, um, I'm willing to give you time served for the uh, for what you've served so far. Um, in addition to that, I'm willing to go ahead and charge you with possession of a class two times two. All right, um, you'll be getting charged with reckless evading um, and uh, attempted murder of a government official times one. Okay. Uh, you have not been fined, but you ha you will serve your, your time is already served. In addition to that, what I'll do um, is I will notion to that to the court to give you a fifty percent reduction. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, Mister Montgomery B. Walter, it is, yeah. Yeah. God, it brings me so much pleasure to see you with uh, you know as a little puppet dog hey, with your tail between your legs right now, Mister Lee Walter. Just backtracking, trying to find some kind of thing to grab me, grab onto. But if you think I'm going to plead guilty to attempted murder when I didn't attempt to murder anybody. All right, I'll drop the attempted murder charge. Save, save, save the monologue, Nick. Man, if you think, it, it, I mean, it was that easy to drop that. I mean, the reckless evading. No, no, no. The, really... other, the other two <laughs> thing, the other three things, the possession of the firearms and the reckless evading, we have you down, Pat. I'm be honest. You know I'm still going to honor there, the Nick. deal of fifty percent reduction time served. So just the weapons charges, possession and the fleeing charges, and, and possession of class two times two, and yep. uh, and uh, and reckless evading. All right, let me have a fat bar with my uh, attorney. You want me I there to give you some moral support, there, Mr. Top Hat? I'm oh, fine. I think I'm uh, I'm in a better here. position than you are currently. Yeah. <laughs> what just happened? So wait, what just happened? <laughs> What the fuck just happened? Challenged the evidence and the prosecution didn't quite know how to set it up. And so every single piece they put up there, there's no way to actually show it links to you. It's just your numbers. Like there's no, you know, and I, I yeah, said, so please explain it to us. And they can't, they're missing some of it. Really? So, but the thing is, here's the thing, Mr. Anders. They got the guns. Let's not fuck around. Take the deal on the gun and the fleeting. You know best best deal I could ever get you. I told you I'd work the case. I did it my way. Take the fucking deal. All right. Jesus, bro. All right. Fuck. Yes, for say, you know what? I feel like 75% reduction for that. Because <laughs> he said 50. It's irrelevant, bro. Just hit him up. Poke your stick at the fat bag. You want me to say 75%? Say, you know what? Yeah, say, you know what? I waited a long time for you, money. So make it 75. Yeah. All right. Gone. Cool. Oh, what's this fruit here? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll need a piece of fruit. I don't want to. All right, uh, I'll I'll need to just grab one of these. Let's polish that off real quick. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. so, uh, yeah, you know, uh, what we'll do is uh, we got a good deal. I mean, that's a good deal you're throwing to us here, you know, and uh, I was thinking maybe we go 75% and we'll just call it even. All right, deal. Let's go. What, what's going on, Willie? Hey, listen. Um,. Stop looking at me like that, Ender. <laughs> oh, oh no. Right, uh, no. Okay. We're going to be putting in a motion uh, to drop all attempted murder charges. We are going to go ahead and give a recommendation. Of, so the charges that are going to stand are going to be possession of a class two <laughs> firearm times two and reckless evading. Uh, we recommend that um, that it's time served and Mr. Ender receive a 75% reduction on the fine. 75? That was the deal that was agreed upon, yeah. 
Mm. Yes, sir. We agree to that. Sir, I would like to humbly bring up something. Go ahead. If it if it may please the, the your honor. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I uh I did spend around four hundred to five hundred months in in Bolingbrook Penitentiary. Is there any chance of uh? I don't know, maybe a little bit of, yeah. you know, I guess payment for that time. There is a set fee in the DOJ we can request, which I was going to do next, Your Honor. Can we request a reimbursement DOJ fees to be paid to Mr. Ender for the time? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the thousand bits, Gurney! <laughs> this poor man, he's been out there. Working his hard life, you know. He needs to be reimbursed. Go back in his life. No way, dude. Hey. Checking I'm just checking it now. I'm just. If you drop the nine it. attempted murders, what's the full fine? <laughs> the full fine's going to be so you reckless evading, criminal possession of firing class two times two. Uh, the recommended fine is going to be 10,274 months, but with the 75% reduction, it's going to be $2,550 in 18 no, no, months. Don't give me a reduction. What's the full fine first? 10,200. 10,200? 10,000? 10,000. Okay, 10,000. And okay. You give me a 75% reduction of that? Chat, type one of it's scripted. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Your Honor. And then I have to, you know, and then what, you want me to pay me $50,000? Yes, please, Your Honor. You know, this man's life was interfered with. Is that your position, Montgomery? As part of me, what's my position on this? They're requesting us to pay him out for the, for the time he served in jail. What's his, okay, what's the amount of time he's supposed to go to prison for this? Without the, without the murder. 70, 74 months. 24 months, so it's not 400. So how many, uh, just a, if, oh, if I may speak humbly. No, you honor. may not. Okay. You don't. All right, fine, go talk. Say Thanks. what you need to say. Oh, yeah, I spent six uh, days in, uh, what's, for lack of a better we are, term. We are how many, aware, Mr. Andrew, we are doing the math right now. Yeah, how many, yeah, this fits in six days or something like uh, that. Seven, yeah, really. Yes, it was seven Andrew. days. We are, seven we days. are aware. We are aware. Thank you, Mr. Andrew. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Lee Walter. Thank you, Monty. It's a, it's a pleasure. <laughs> that uh, reduces the amount significantly. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, to me, like fifty grand. Mm -hmm. You know what? Fifty I think that, uh, grand, Mr. Ender. Fool. They are requesting. Okay, so if he pays the fine, let's say he pays the fine, I still have to give him back fifty thousand dollars. Is that what you're requesting from the, from the court, Mr. Klein? Uh, yes. yes you want to... Okay, here, let's do it. Let's do it this that way, Judge. If you're okay with it, <laughs> uh, Clyde, tell me how much his charges are with the 75 percent reduction. How much is it financially? Two thousand two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. Perfect. Take that number and subtract it from a total sum of fifty thousand. So I just want to clear this up, if if you don't mind, humbly, sir. Your Honor. So I just want to be clear. So. uh Instead of being charged with nine uh, attempted murders, I'm leaving you're gonna here. You're going to have on your record, you're going to have on your record the two class twos, mm -hmm. the reckless evading. Yeah. You're going to you're gonna get $50,000. Okay. You're going to be left let go because you have time served and you've already paid okay. your fine. So I am being paid to be here then currently. It would be considered. Well, you've been paid. Oh, no, that here. doesn't you're work out like that. If you're really summoned to court, you don't get paid to go to court if you're summoned. You're not. But I am leaving $50,000 richer is what I was just, you... just to be clear. <laughs> Mr. Ender. <laughs> just wanted... you, you wanna... Can we get that transferred to Mr. Ender? We can be on our way. <laughs> well, the can't deny this, uh, Mr. Ender, and send you to prison and make you pay $2,000. Oh, no, that's fine. I was just being clear. Was... Thank you so much, Your Honor. Your, your, no your grace. <laughs> You know, Mr. Ender, I would conduct yourself with a little bit of uh, professionalism. We all see what you're doing here. Thanks for rubbing it in, okay? Oh, no, no, not at all, Mr. Lee Walter. You're a fine, you're a fine officer of the law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the defense, TV. the prosecution would like to enter in a plea deal that the defense have agreed to. We're going to be dropping all charges of attempted murder of a government official. We're going to be going Ooh. ahead and sticking the possession of a class two firearm times two charge <laughs> alongside with... Um, with the charge of uh, reckless evading in due to, in doing so we are going to be given a time served and a 75 percent reduction 
All right. Oof, oof, oof. Then um comes down to um, reimbursing for the time spent. It's come to the court's attention that the sum is fifty grand. That's correct, Your Honor. The Los Angeles Police Department, on behalf of the DPS, will pay uh, Mr. Ender fifty thousand dollars. Understood. That is the ruling of the court. Uh, Your Honor, if uh, you don't mind, I don't, if it would humble my graces of you, you your graces. Why are you talking now, Mr. Ender? I just wanted to bring up also that Thomas Tinker is not here. <laughs> well, he's not on your witness list. He's on. Y the yes, Your Honor, Thomas Tinker or Tommy Tinker, <laughs> not Thomas, Mr. Bender. Uh, but Tommy Tinker did indeed give in a sworn testimony as he is dealing with a, a, a but, you know a life but, but, threatening but, issue of breaking uh, out with acne all over his to be fair, to all be over fair. his uh, you know his personal parts. Uh, Mr. Ender, Mr. Tinker did um, email the court today um, telling me that he couldn't be here, so he excused himself. So, Mr. Hunter you, you, did not. Yeah, we knew that Mr. Tinker wasn't coming on the day of the incident, Your Honor. So that's that's probably why. Mr. Yes, Your Honor, and I will testify that he has severe acne in his lower scrotum area. It's the part in between <laughs> uh, his uh, sack and his in his uh, anal yeah. cavity. Oh, the gooch! It's this the gooch. It's the gooch, yeah. Your Honor. Yeah. Um, I won't Montana ask Gooch. how you know that. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Zinker excused because uh, he excused himself Jack before the right. proceedings started. Oh, yeah. uh, Mr. Harcher is not contempt on Mr. Harcher. Fifty thousand yeah, dollars fine. Thomas Tinker. Ten for. Um, that is all for us, Your Honor. Can you set that up on his record <laughs> and contempt charge? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'll have the DA do that. I'd like to say that Thomas Mr. Tinker is, is not here either. Deal. All right. Mr. Thank, Thank you, Thank you Mr. Frost. No problem. Do you want to come join us in the uh, other room? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, of course, of course. Hey, sorry, oh, guy. um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, yeah. my phone is un unoperational. All right, I think I know it. I think we'll figure it out. Okay. I, I just gotta say, I hope your hemorrhoids get better. Mr. Ender, I have to speak with the judge, and then I have to speak with you. Are you going to be going to bed soon? Should I try I can, to get you? I can wait. I can wait. Okay. Just let me talk to the right, Mr. Ender, fifty thousand oh, Mr. Fudge transferred into your account. All right. Thank you. Fudge, can Thank you so much. A moment of your time. You're very welcome, Mr. Ender. And by the way, Nick, just between me and you, you got extremely lucky here. You, no, you uh, major Monty, Mr. Fudge. I still don't know what the fuck you did. Judge, hey, Judge. I, I don't mean it's and, almost and like very clear, Nick. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. One of these days, busy at the moment, so you're gonna me. slip up, hmm. and I will get you. All right. And I will not rest you can talk to you. until you are in jail oh. for life. Monty, ever tried to get grab a fistful of sand? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna head out. Well, what was you the point of that, Mr. Andrew? Drink. <laughs> I have some available. Yeah, if you have some, that'd be great. You Thank you so much, uh, guys. It was a real. Hey, it was an honor. It was really an honor. Yeah. Have a great hey, one, uh, Mr. Lee hey, Walter. Don't slip up, all right? We're watching. Hey, say hi to Thomas for me, all right? 